Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming. My name is Jonas, I'm your host, and I am here rolling solo dolo on this special episode, Season 4 in Review. Alright, so Season 4 ended with a 15-1 record. We had a second Super Bowl title, which... I guess they only show one trophy in the background. Maybe once I advance to the offseason, it'll show the second one. But So basically, what I'm going to do here is uh, kind of go through, show kind of the stats for the team, the overall ranking of the team, uh, yearly awards, just kind of do an overview of the season uh, real quick as we go through things, show you who I have left to negotiate with, who's going to be gone for sure next season. Um, so we will go ahead and first things first, let's go ahead and start with the stats, I think. All right, so here's a stat from our back-to-back -back Super Bowl season. Uh, let's see, Baker Mayfield, he had 3,620 yards, 38 touchdowns, and five interceptions, 226 yards per game. That is leaps and bounds above where he was last season, but too bad he is going to be gone. So here is the guy waiting in the wings. He was my number one overall pick. If you notice, he's number 19, the second coming of Bernie Kosar, Zach the Dream Weaver. He will be the replacement of Baker Mayfield because I'm not signing him. He wants $200 million. So rushing, it was Nick Chubb's season. He had uh, 1,600 yards. He only played, he had 20 touchdowns. He only played 12 games or something, so he did pretty well. Uh, Roman Perkins, he is potentially going to be the... Uh, the guy who replaces him, we'll see in the offseason. I may I may sign a free agent or draft another running back, just depending. Because I'm not enthralled by him, but he also was serviceable. I mean, he had 100, he was averaging seven yards. He actually averaged a better yards per carry than Nick Chubb, but he had a third of the attempts. So, um, Baker Mayfield, he still had seven fumbles this season, so it's obviously a problem. But uh, 26 rushes, man. I ran with him a lot more. So, receiving... D'Antoine Hanoian ended up with uh, 1,400 yards and 16 touchdowns. DeValve, he was almost at 1,000 with 8. And Callaway, those are my three main guys. Marshall Holloway and Perry Armstrong, they're going to step up next year, I'm sure. Uh, they each had, you know, serviceable. So, nothing too crazy. So, we'll go ahead and see how the defense did. Uh, Schobert and... And Ragland were the top two, and Peppers were the top three, which is kind of um, where they were last season, uh, which is pretty good. Let's see how many sacks everybody had here. Garrett, Garrett, of course, he, he's going to be missed with 18 and a half sacks. I'm hoping the guy I picked up as a rookie last year can step up, but we'll see because I'm gonna I'm gonna lose him too. So Weldon actually had nine and a half sacks, so that's pretty good. He's my left outside linebacker. So, all right, who had interceptions? Let's see who had fucking interceptions. Ward uh, had three, and then free safety, and the middle linebacker actually had three. Go, go that guy. All right, kicking. How do we do here? Zane Gonzalez, I only kicked 13. I attempted 13 field goals, and I made 12 of them. So, and then I was, uh, I had one extra point blocked, and I missed one. So, what a, what a dick. All right, now let's check out punting. Vogel was averaging 50 yards a kick. I didn't have nearly as many, uh, Touchback. I have seven touchbacks and I averaged 50 yards. I mean, he's he's pretty fucking good, man. He averaged 60 yards a punt. Can't really beat that. Kick returns. Roman Perkins and my rookie Derek Stith. Um, neither one of them. I mean, was really anything to write home about. But I mean, they're serviceable. I guess they only scored 14 touchdowns against me this season. So, and then Stith on on punt returns, nothing. He was actually pretty fucking terrible. So I'm hoping I can get somebody. So there is that. So those are the stats for the season, folks. Uh, let's go ahead and go to... Oh, look, I'm a legacy leaderboard. I'm number three, so I'm creeping up the... I'm almost the number one fucking coach of all time. So, all right, let's go to the yearly awards. I, I don't know who won any of these, so we'll go ahead and we'll, we'll learn them together. MVP was fucking Marcus Mariota. I bet you... I bet you that if uh, Chubb when he got hurt, he would have been... The MVP. So Chubb was third in voting, and actually Baker Mayfield was sixth. So I mean, we had we had a pretty good. We had two, and both guys are actually going to be gone next season. So 
Coach of the Year, me. Two years in a row, Jonas J. Uh, winning the Coach of the Year. I mean, you won the Super Bowl and had a 15-1 record. Come on, how could you not? So that's pretty awesome. Oh, i got to go back in. There's more yearly awards. So, all right, let's take a look here. Let's go AFC. Offensive Player of the Year. Uh, we had Nick Chubb is ranked two. And Baker Mayfield, six. So, same kind of thing with the MVP, Defensive Player of the Year. Oh, shit. Look at this. I'm going to I'm gonna keep Schobert, but but Garrett is going to be gone. He wants way too much money. I just can't afford him. So, we'll see. We'll see. Hopefully, my defense doesn't, like, really, really suck. So, all right. Let's go to Offensive Rookie of the Year. Any of my guys? Perry Armstrong. Oh, and Zach the Dream Weaver. He came in for, like, one fucking game. So... But that's pretty, that's that's promising that uh, Zach Weaver and uh, Perry Armstrong or Perry Armstrong, man, he was in there. He was doing some shit, man. So I'm good defensive player of the year. Anybody? Oh God, no! All my defensive player. I don't even know if I drafted anybody on defense. I did. I did kind of draft for the future. So best quarterback, Baker Mayfield won. How did Marcus Mariota win MVP and Baker Mayfield won best quarterback? Don't know. Best running back. Nick Chubb. All right. So, I mean, right now it's 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 shaping up. Oh my God! And best wide receiver was DeAntoine Hanoian. That's fucking sweet. All right. Anybody? Any other of my receivers? No, not really. All right. So let's go to offensive lineman Batonio Corbett. Yeah, this dude. I tried to re-sign him. He's out. Lee. I got him for a minute. I, I'm gonna try to re-sign him in free agency, but he. I tried to sign him. He said I don't want to do it. Uh, Garrett, of course, is one of the best defensive linemen, uh, best linebacker. All right, cool. We got Schobert. God, look at these guys. We have anybody else? Nope. And best defensive back, uh, Ward. So I did franchise Ward. He didn't want to re-sign, but I did franchise, and I'm going to keep him around one more season. I'm going to try to draft another cornerback this year, maybe, because I lost a couple guys because they were all getting up there in age. I had a few guys who were pushing 30. So, I'll let them go. Best kicker, flat out. So, so the team was pretty impressive this season. Not going to lie. Uh, I kind of kicked some ass. So, let me go ahead and go over here. I will back out of all of this. Uh, let's go to the standings, just kind of the overall standings of the, the league this year. Uh, AFC North. So, uh Every other team in the division stunk. Oh, it's so good to see the Steelers at 5-11, and 11, by the way. Um, all right, so the Browns. And then in the South, it was uh, the Titans and the Colts. In the East, it was the Bills and the Dolphins that made the playoffs. And God, and that whole division is trash. The West is uh, the Chargers and then nobody else. So NFC North, you can see the Packers and Bears. The South is the Falcons. The East is the Redskins and the Giants. And the West is the Seahawks. So that's kind of where we're at as far as like the league goes. F four full seasons in. Um, and then what I'll do here real quick just to kind of finish off everything is I'll show you where the team stands as of right now. And then I'll show you who is going to be gone. So at the end of the season, I had... Uh, Baker Mayfield 99, and then I have Zach the Dream Weaver who's stepping up next season. So he'll be he'll be the guy for the next few years. He's he's taller, he's bigger. I mean, we'll see. He's not as good, obviously, but he has five years. He has five years, or Baker Mayfield has five years on him. So halfback. So Chubb's gonna be gone, but I'll have Perkins and Stith. Um, I'm probably I may get a free agent depending who's there with what kind of running back they are he doesn't fit my scheme so I probably will draft somebody else or whatever but if I have to use him for a season I will I don't really care he was serviceable he did okay uh fullback Trey Madden uh he's been he has been lights out for me but his time has come uh, I drafted Samuel Mabin last year uh he's gonna step in so I mean we're kind of so as you can see there's a trend starting quarterback gone starting running back gone Starting fullback, gone. Uh, here, uh, Callaway, I re-signed him too. So I'm going to keep Callaway, Hanoian, uh, Josh Gordon. I'm just letting his his contract and shit run out. I think he has one more year. And you can see he's dropping. He's 31. Braxton Miller is going to be a free agent. And then I'll have Holloway and Armstrong. And then I have these two guys too. So, I mean, I'll probably just let these dudes hang out and be part of the team. So I'll, cause I'll have one, two... 
three, four, five, six wide receivers. So I'll probably be good on wide receivers. I'll probably roll with these guys and see how they work. Uh, tight end, I got uh, I got uh, Devalve, and then I got Brady Goodman, who I don't I don't know where he came from. <laughs> to be honest. So uh, I guess, I'm, I mean, I may actually, he actually is better than Riley. So I'm going to keep DeValve. I have him signed for another couple of years, but I may, I may bring Brady Goodman in and just, I mean, I may actually push DeValve down. I mean, we'll see. We'll see what's going to happen. I got to wait till the off season. I can, I'm only speaking hypotheticals right now. So, and then uh, Batonio, I'm going to let him hang out and keep his, you know, keep his contract. He's going to be gone soon. I may try to resign because linemen, linemen are good there. Uh, but, Let's see. We got guards. He's gone, so this guy's gonna be stepping up. I'll need I'll need to draft some more guards. Bradford Lee, he'll stay. He's gonna be gone, and I have him. So I've been trying to draft linemen. You know, uh, Corbett is gonna test free agency. He said, but I have this guy who I've drafted who can step in. Uh, right tackle, uh, Brian Bennett. I drafted him, and then but I have Popic on the back. So I feel like my line is coming along. It's not the best, but it's it's way better than it used to be. Uh, Nasib. He's he's on his way out pretty soon, so I'm probably gonna. I mean, I have this guy and this guy, but they're I mean they're trash. So I'm gonna maybe work on my defensive ends. But see over here, I have uh he's gonna be gone, Garrick. He wants too much money. But I just resigned. I have him. He's a, he's a rookie, and I resigned to this guy. So I may move him over to left tackle or left end, something like that. So we'll figure it out <clears throat> as we get closer. Uh, defensive tackle. So I'm definitely gonna need to upgrade because. Uh, these guys are getting old. I mean, I'm going to hang out. This guy will hang out for another year or two. He'll probably be gone soon. I uh, I just re-signed him, I believe, not long. So, And he's not bad. I mean, so I mean, it's not terrible. And then we got Weldon, who is around for a little bit longer, and Simpson. I mean, so my left outside linebackers are pretty pretty quality. Ragland and Schober are getting old, so I'm probably going to try to draft another middle linebacker at some point because I think this is his last year, and Ragland's probably going to want a shitload of money, and he's going to be 29 years old, so I'm going to let him go more than likely and Schober to have for at least one more year. So we'll see how that goes. And then, of course, uh, here, uh, Shakreem Griffin is going to be gone. He's a free agent. Uh, Marshall Tarpley. So, I mean, he's... He's not terrible, so I may I may keep him. He was on the practice squad, I think, just to kind of hang out. So we got um, <clears throat> Ward. I'm keeping this guy. I don't even remember picking him up to be honest, but regardless, um, I have him. And then uh, these two guys are going to be gone. And then I have Perry Nickerson, who I've kept for years. He was like a 69 overall. He's definitely crap on a come up. And then Ron Gibson. I mean, he's okay. And then I'll probably draft somebody. Free safety. Um, he's 29, so I'll probably try to trade him. We'll see how that goes, um, because I have I have Floyd and Lemur. I mean, they're they're creeping on a come up and they're young. So, and then we got strong safety. I got Pepper signed here for a few more years. He's he's awesome. And then we got Tyrone Kidd in the back. So we got uh, Zane Gonzalez, who has been very good, and uh, Justin Vogel. I signed both of them to very long term deals, like I think seven years, a couple years ago. So we got them locked in for a while picks so this year um we start out with the first the last pick in the first round and then we have one two three seconds one two three thirds one two three four fours one two fifths and a six so i may try to use some of those draft picks to trade for some guys to fill some gaps um because i'm not going to get anything too crazy but so that's really it guys um that's where we're at on this video uh, I'm going to show you, he, here's who's left to negotiate, that they're going to be gone. So we got Miles Garrett, he wants $87 million over five years. Nope. Baker Mayfield wants $200 million over six years. Chubb wants $82 million over six years. Gaines, he's he's 30 years old, I'm good. Uh, Griffin, he wants $16 million over three, which isn't expensive, but I have a lot of other good linebackers i mean i traded for him after the first season but i mean he's been serviceable but maybe i'll try to pick him up in free agency if he's cheap but nope and then this guy he's 32 and he's 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 declined for years so he's out corbett didn't want to hang out so he can fuck off and i may try to pick him up in free agency mitch and mitchell is 30 and he's a, a he's been declining trey madden he's on he's 20 29 and he i mean i have a new fullback so sorry bud and then Braxton Miller, I just I I picked him up as a free agent, and then never he never played in like the two seasons he was on the team. So he got he got a he got two Super Bowl rings for nothing. So 
All right, guys. I mean, that's really it. That is all the time that we have for today's uh, Season 4 in review. Um, up next will be the free agency um, video, which will just be basically, you know, the offseason, re-signing players, or not re-signing players, uh, signing free agents, the draft, uh, trades, all that sort of stuff. So I'm going to get working on that. Um, and then we'll roll into year five. Year fucking five. It's pretty, it's almost like rebuild 2.0, essentially, because all the guys who were rookies in year one are pretty much gone because they are too expensive. So, um, but that's really it. Uh, please make sure to like, share, subscribe, comment. Let me know what you think. Anything I should do different? I mean, just let me know, man. I'm definitely open to whatever. But for Jonas, we'll catch you next week on the off season. I am out.